praise the Lord. The Lord is good and he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name today, Father. You are a good Father to us, Father. And we thank you, Jesus. Protect us from danger, seen and unseen, in the name of 
Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you look upon each and every servant that is here on today, that you send forth your grace, send forth your help, send forth your strength in the name of Jesus. Lord, we praise you for all your grace and your mercy, your love and your kindness that you bestowed upon us. Lord, we thank you because you woke us up this morning Amen. and you started us on our way. You've given us a mind to come out to the household of faith to worship you in spirit and in truth. And now, Lord, we ask you to take charge of our service. Bless each and every soul that is on the sound of our voice. And Lord, we praise you and give you glory and thanks and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. As you remain standing, just want you to uh, turn with me. Once again, to the book of uh, Psalms, Psalms 133. Uh, this must be what we need to be praying for in these uh, given times because the Lord seems to have to keep going back to that particular psalm, Psalm 133. It says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garment, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountain of Zion. There the Lord commanded a blessing, even a life forevermore. I read your hearing Psalms 133, verses 1 through 3. Praise to you. Hallelujah. 